Welcome to another episode of In My Room, the weekly series where I talk about the hidden aspects of teen bedroom culture. If you can't see, I'm sitting in a pile of stuff and I'm going for a very disorganized vibe to talk about today's subject, which is mess and the messiness associated or commonly associated with teen bedrooms. As I talk about today's messy subject, I will also be attempting to clean a little bit. So the teen bedroom is synonymous with mess. When we think about a messy room, we usually think about a child's room or a teenager's room. It's a point of contention amongst parents and teenagers because parents are trying to maintain a sense of control over the teenager by asking them to clean their room. And teenagers are feeling like they should have autonomy and should have control over the state that their room is in. How do you get a teenager to clean their room? Why are teenagers' rooms so messy? When I was growing up, I went through a phase where I would sleep on the floor of my room, and because I was sleeping on the floor, all of my floor trash or clutter or things that would have normally gone on the floor went on my bed. So there was sort of a reversal happening. And I remember my mom really wasn't like okay with me sleeping on the floor, but definitely wasn't going to tell me what to do because it was my room and sort of my domain. So in order to get me to clean my room, my mom basically came up with this scheme and she told me that when she was in my room earlier that day, that she had found mouse droppings on the floor. And I remember going to bed that night and just being so afraid that there was a mouse in my room that I never slept on the floor again and I'm pretty sure I cleaned my room right after that. And I didn't piece together that she was actually just doing that to get me to stop sleeping on the floor and to clean my room for an extremely long time and it definitely worked. Parents definitely find ways to subtly still get you to do the things that they want. It's definitely pretty not allowed to go into your child's room and clean it for them. So I think sometimes parents have to be a little creative. But what's so bad about a messy bedroom anyway? Essentially, when you're sharing a space with multiple people, you're actually less likely to keep it clean because you can sort of deflect responsibility or not really claim a mess as your own. We're less likely to avoid cleaning or taking responsibility for our actions if we're the only person that we can blame. Your mess is your mess and you have to own it. Now, obviously this doesn't keep teenagers from having messy bedrooms. Having a messy room really does reflect the messiness of teenage thought and teenage life and teenage emotions. So it doesn't surprise me that this is such a common thing in adolescence. We're really fixated on people getting their, their life together and in a lot of ways that means cleaning your room, having a minimalist aesthetic, decluttering. There's a huge culture around it and it's really satisfying to watch something go from messy to clean. Another leading factor in teen room clutter is probably the fact that they just have more stuff. They're starting to buy more stuff, they're consumers, they need places to put it. Who doesn't consume more than a teenager? A teenage bedroom is significantly more cluttered and has more things taking up space because teenagers are trying to build identities, they're really into showing what they're about. The rise of having more stuff but only having one place in the house to put it could also be a contributing factor to a messy room. I think that takes care of all of my clutter. Until next time, see you later.